Today, we are going to see how to develop a fragment. Okay, fragment is nothing but a piece of code that can be used again and again, or a piece of UI page or a UI like a segment which can be plugged into any pages. You can use it. So, developing a fragment is not a big deal. It is like developing any other page. Okay, but here are the things we want we have to learn is. How do we pass a parameter into a fragment? And how to get the value out of the fragment? So that is what we are going to look at today. Okay, today uh, in the tutorial, we are going to develop a, a small uh, lookup piece of code, um, which can be selected. And what we are going to pass in is a lookup type. So, like according to the lookup type you are passing it, that table may change, like you know, whatever that uh, the lookup information may change. So, when you click a code or when you click something into the lookup, what we send back to the main page is the lookup code and the meaning. So, basically, the lookup type is going in. If you select anything from the lookup, the code and the meaning is coming back. This is what we are going to look at that. Now, I create a, a fragment here. Say lookup selection, any name you can have it. Is a beige color. Okay, folder panel. Actually, I even I don't understand what is that. I think this is fine, I believe. Okay, uh, create, I'm creating it. So when I'm looking at the code, I don't see anything. Like whichever option you are choosing, I don't see anything. Okay, now what we do here is basically we create a, a table here. Okay. Classes, flex item. I'm adding going to add a table inside. Okay, table. All right, let me drag and drop instead of table. Okay, that is great. Now we got the table. Okay, now let me go to that uh, table and pick all data common lookup service. I'm picking up the lookup. Next, what are the column I need it? I need a code, uh, lookup code that is also primary, a uh, meaning, then I'll have it. Type okay, so what I'm picking out of here is lookup code meaning type, just an example. So, okay, what I'm getting out of here is that is fine. Here, this right here, that is exactly fine. Here, so now you're able to look up and type. Let's look at that. That probably has got a lot of data. So I had to say that, like, you know, I validate the data, okay. Now I go here, I create a variable, okay. Now I go to code here, fragment, I create a variable, say that lookup type, okay. Lookup type, okay. I'm creating the variable. The variable is a parameter, say the required parameter, okay. I'm giving a, a default value, uh, CMB, yes, no. So basically the lookup default value CMB is no. This is a required parameter. This is basically it can be passed in. So this is how you passed in the value. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to put a, a finder here to get a, uh, okay. Okay, the finder here is, is an expression. So we have a lookup type here, variable here. So what we have here is, okay. So basically lookup type is validating a lookup type. We are also going to bring only the data, okay. Only data, okay. Only data is, okay. So hope this works as it is. So I go to the fragment page, go to design. Okay, I got the value, yes or no, okay. Finally, the basically the basic UI is developed, okay. Now, I can have a table, okay, let me do the table. 
we will change the data. I will put the meaning as the first row. Okay. So it's clicking is you can put anywhere here. Now I'm going to make it as a link. Okay, how do I make it as a link? The hyperlink and dragging and dropping here in the first one. So automatically it create the templates for me. Okay, it is created. You go look at the this one, the template is created. Okay, the hyperlink is there. Okay, the hyperlink. Now I'm going to create a click. What the click is supposed to do that? Okay. The click also has to send the value back to the main page. Okay, so that is the main part of it. So I'm going to create an event. I'm creating a new event. All click event. So all I can look up, look up, look up, look up hyper event chain. Okay, we pass a three way variables for us to that. Now what are we going to do that? Okay, so what are we going to do here? What we are going to do here is we are going to run a action called uh, okay fire event okay that is what we are going to do that okay basically what we are going to do is a fire event okay what this does is we are going to create a, a even name say that like you know uh clic click fragment am i right we are going to create the event on this and the event emit even to the container so whichever this is what is going to emit something to the container so make sure this is you click on that don't forget to, this is the like you know sorry spelling is that okay this is the most important you have to click the emit part so that is what going to send the data back to that okay now what i'm going to emit okay now if you are looking at that i can create a payload okay now let me have create a payload uh create a payload which is code and meaning okay code create is not input so i'm leaving that and i'm also creating a meaning okay so I created the code and meaning. Now, what is a code? Code is a key. Okay. That's so what I'm giving the value to the key to that. Now, this is meaning is what? Like, you know, I have to pick up a row, row dot, sorry, meaning. So now what this is getting here is the payload having is a code and meaning. Okay. Now we go to this event. We go to the event, we can look at that what's the event is. Okay. Uh, we can say it is listenable, like that's fine. Application extension is listenable. You can play that. Okay. You can listen to that. Okay. So now this is this part is done. So almost we are done with the input and output. Now how do we consume that? Now let me go to the main page. So basically, if I'm going here, I'm using the main page here, the main start. I don't need a main page. I'm just using the main start here. Now, I need a few things. First of all, I need a, a input value, which is to pass to the lookup type. Uh, okay, you can type something onto that, then that will be used on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a I can say the same thing is uh, I forget the class part. Now, here I'm, I'm going to have uh, some input text. I'm right. Input text. I just say text. So that is where I'm going to type the uh, lookup type. Okay. So, say input text. I'm going to put that. Okay. Label. In this lookup type, okay, I need a variable. Wait, so I'm adding the variable to that. Create a variable with the base. Say that lookup type. Lookup type. Okay, I create that. This is fine. So now, if you are looking at that, you see the lookup type is here. Okay, now, okay, now what I'm going to do the next part is I need a fragment. Okay. I need a fragment. So I'm looking for a fragment. Okay, some of the version you have to pull the container, then you change it, or some of the version you get the fragment itself directly, you get it. 
Okay, either it is fine. This is end of the day is going to even if you are pulling this one to here, you get a fragment container within that the values is the this, that's a, the values here. See the the bridges that we are looking that fragment container. Okay, the name is a lookup selection. So is the either way is fine. Either you pull up the fragment container, this is fine. Now what you are going to see here is. So you got the value, okay. Now you have the input, you have the value, okay. Now the, the CMB SNO is working by default. Whatever the value is going, like now we defaulted that uh, type, that is it's working. Now we'll change that, okay. Now there's a two thing we have to do here. One is we take the data out, then we will send the data in. First we'll take the data out. Now for that, let me go to the code. I'm showing somewhere like, you know, let me put a panel because that's easier to display sometimes. Panel. The panel is not necessary, like you can, you can just have the value anywhere. But, uh, okay. Panel. It's just a small panel I'm creating. So it is rotation class. Okay. And it, it is display, easier to display. So I have a two text output. Okay. Okay. So I have a one text. That text is basically code. So for okay, I have okay, and what I do is I create a variable that is easier. I'll create a variable called code. Code or lookup code. Lookup, lookup code. Okay, create a lookup code here. Okay. And uh, there's a one more variable I'm going to pull it here. That would be lookup type. Okay. So that would be create a variable. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you know, no, sorry, that is a mean. Mean. Okay. So, mean here. Now, if you are coming to the design, okay, you are not seeing anything, just let me say something like, you know, here. So, you see that code. So, you know where you are going to see that. Okay, but the, 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 the important is you are getting a value out of that. Like, you know, how I'm displaying is just to for the tutorial. The important is how you are going to get a value out of that. Okay, so basically, you have the meaning and there's a code. Okay, let me okay, let me go here and run this page. I hope it will open a different uh, tab. Sometimes it will open the same tab, then I have to like, you know, always. Okay, yeah. Yes, no is coming code and meaning here. So now, okay. Now what I what I'm going to do here is, like I go to the design. If you are looking here, okay, there's a even I'm going to create the I'm going to get the value out of that. So I'm going to get the event. Okay. If you are looking at the event, on a click, this is that what we create that in a fragment. Okay, click even fragment. Okay, now the fragment is created. Now I'm going to do here is I'm going to assign the value because I'm going to, like if you're assigning the value, you are going to get that here. The code the variable comes here because the variable is basically we are emitting the variable from there. It is coming here. Okay. So basically I'm going to create a lookup code, a lookup code, and the meaning to meaning. Okay. So when you click here, automatically that trigger is fired that is returning the data, uh, the data that will be assigned from here. That is what we are expecting to happen here. Okay, let me go to the base designer. Let me run it again here. Okay. Okay. See, I'm getting a yes, yes. Okay. See, yeah, no. this is what. So basically, when you click 
automatically that fire the click event, that fire the uh, the custom event, that return the data, the data will be assigned here. This is how the data is coming out. Now, how do I send the data? So, is the second part of that. This one, okay. I will go back. Okay. Now, whatever I am typing here, it has to go there. Okay. So, now already we have the input in the base. Am I right? If you are looking at this part, we are coming here. We have an input. Okay. The input has got a lookup type is input. So, we can assign the variable to the input. Am I right? Lookup type, we are assigning the lookup type. So basically, automatically the lookup type goes in. That's no problem. Okay, but will it work? Okay, it doesn't work. But I'll I will test that. Okay, will it work? It should not work according to my understanding. Okay. Okay. Let me find a lookup uh, here. Will it work here? No, it doesn't do anything. The reason it doesn't do this is not sending the. Okay. Basically, the parameter is there, but when you when I'm typing here, nothing is triggering to send the value to that. Am I right? When something has to be triggered for like you know the value has to go there and trigger some trigger has to happen. So that is not happening here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to the variable that's a lookup type of the variable. I'm going to create a event. Okay. Let me create a event on that. And uh, there is no way of uh, select creating event. Okay, base event. Let me see that. Now, lookup type. Okay, change, change. Okay, okay let me select that. Now, lookup type change. What happens? Go to action. Okay. Now I have to have some kind of a like you know even has to have uh, refresh to that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call the component. Okay, to calling the component, I have to have an ID to that. Okay, let me go here to the base designer. Go to the code. I give some ID to this fragment. Okay, look up fragment ID. Okay. So I have ID, so this section can be now. I can go to the designer and call the component. Okay. Now let's see what happened. Okay. 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 working now there is something we are doing that is it is not working now let's go what is why it's not working okay now let's see okay the first mistake here is we attach that in the lookup code that's wrong okay i'm deleting this part it's supposed to be here we are changing the lookup type so like you know that should have been in a lookup event so lookup type change event here so when the type change, the event has to be fired. Now just we go back to event. It is nothing but like, you know, it is just sending a focus to that, okay? Uh, and the value change, that is fine. Okay, now, okay, now that way we are fine here. Now let's see what are we, the parameter. Okay, now we go back to the base designer, go to the code. Okay, now we see that what are we passing to that, that we should pass a lookup. Okay, the one more mistake we have done here is it should be a lookup type we are passing, not a lookup code. The lookup code is a incoming there is a two parameter. So basically lookup that we fix a change even to the lookup type and the lookup type is passed to the this uh, like into the fragment. Okay, now let me run that again. Okay. Now let me click here. So the click is working, no problem. This is working. Now let me change the lookup type. See, now it is changing it. Do I have anything else? Anything? Okay, CMP, yes, no, I'll come back. Yes, no, I come back. Okay, that is also working. One more. 
to give him just to make sure giving it see we're getting all these things when i'm clicking here so this okay it shares so basically the coming out also working coming in also working uh, if you have any questions please let me know and if you think like you know anything i can do better better way please let me know uh, otherwise uh, like you know thank you thank you for watching till i see you next time